From the gas city to the city of champions, Nathan Kuhorn from Medicine Hat once called this field his home. But now he catches balls in the CFL for the Edmonton Eskimos. It was great growing up in Medicine Hat. It's a small city. Um, you get to know a lot of people. And yeah, growing up playing football there was great. He came in as a receiver. He was always fast. He had, uh, had great speed and uh, he was built a little bit different than the older brothers. You know, a lot of little finer build, slighter build. Well, back then I could just basically grab the ball and run away from people. But now uh, everyone's fast. So now you got to work on uh, the little details and stuff like that. I played with Nate a couple of years here. And then I played with him out in Kelowna, and I played with him for the Dinos. So yeah, I played with Nate for a long time. I actually recruited Nate to play for me at St. Mary's University in Halifax, way you know back in I think the 05 or 04 year. Nil is one of many influences along the way to have an impact on Nathan's life, coming from a family of four boys. Lots of sports in our yard, lots of football games in the front yard, and they'd be tearing each other's heads off in the front and we'd be quite often we'd end up going to the emergency and this is not a joke it's the <laughs> truth we'd go to the emergency with with two of them at a time and one would be getting stitches and stitches and the other one would be getting a tooth pulled out of his leg or and uh, he broke my collarbone this one and he broke my front tooth he uh that one got ripped right in half um when they were kids you know it was always nathan and uh the other middle brother, there's four of them, right? So there's two in the middle against the oldest one and the youngest one, and Nathan had no no mercy on the youngest one. Yeah, we're all pretty close. I'm probably closest to my youngest brother. He's like 18 months younger than me, so we were always kind of together doing everything. We would like, I think we got like 20 points in one game or something, just like with me and him together. And uh, I, I wish I could, I wish I would have kept playing football because then uh, I think I think we would have made a good uh, a good pair together. So there's. Lots of athleticism in the family. Wow. I guess they get it from their mother. They get their looks from me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think we can take a whole lot of credit that way other than keeping him involved with the game and you know, trying to reassure him that, uh, that he's got the ability and give him the opportunity to make the plays and, and build the confidence. It was, uh, it was great playing there. He, uh, he's one of the first guys who started to mold me and uh, kind of correct my attitude issues I had back then. And um, yeah, it was a great place to start off my uh, career. I would say grade 11, he really started to, um, what's the word, um, excel. excel, yeah, in football, and uh, the coaches started to, like Quinn Skelton, started to see that, you know, we've got we've got a real receiver here. Athletically, he, uh, he always had it. Uh, what he didn't have in the beginning was uh, just the confidence. And, and, you know, we talked to him, we knew it was there, and it was just a matter of him to flip the switch, and, and he certainly did that in grade 11. And he became a, uh, I would say he became a, a superstar in, in high school already. And I actually remember one of Quinn's comments, and, uh, uh, Crescent, they were playing against Crescent Heights, and Crescent Heights uh, was beating them. I think there was only two and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter, and he scored two touchdowns to, to pull it out for us. So he was that type of kid in grade 12. Crescent Heights kicked the ball, and and uh, Nathan returned it, and he, he, he made it all the way to the end zone there and scored and Quinn came up to me and he says, oh, I'm so thankful for your kid. <laughs> we truly saw something in him back in the day and it was just waiting for him to figure it out and, and really turn it on. So, uh, you know, we're proud. Aside from his athletic ability, his character plays an equal role, making him into the caliber of player he is. Uh, he's, he's changed a lot with his skill and, you know, just the, the way his life's gone in the last, you know, 10, 15 years. It's, it's, been, a, it's been a good good ride to be alongside with him with. It's, uh, it's, it's definitely a pleasure and, you know, it's an honor to know the guy. He'll usually text me or something or um, even before games we'll talk or whatever and he'll know that he's being prayed for and just, and that's, that's key too, mm -hmm. that his, you know, that he has backup from his family and his wife and stuff too for prayer. Yeah, my parents uh, always were there to support me 100% and uh, that was huge. They're always on the highway, uh, you know, whether it be at CIS games or CGFL or back in the high school days, uh, they, they always followed us around. The fact that he's a starter in the CFL now, you know, is an indication of his, of his foundation, you know, which comes from his family from his uh, community, the high school here, Coach Skelton. He must have seen something in Nathan, Blake, that Nathan, uh, that he knew Nathan was going to move on or something because he got him ready for for CFL and stuff, I think, eh? But Quinn, Quinn helped him out a lot, and then, like Liz says, you go to Blake Nell, 
And Blake Nell is a great coach. Blake Nell, doesn't matter who you are, whether you're the best player on the team or the worst, you better listen. He, he developed a lot during our during the four years he was with us and, and I got to know his family very well and, and the structure that we provided Nate I think has helped him. He's a smart kid, he's real bright and uh, you know he's taken, taken I think all the experiences he's had so far to get there and uh, uh, he's gonna be a hell of a player. Edmonton Eskimos are pretty good. That's not my team but uh, I guess I don't really have a choice but to cheer for them. I always have cheered for the Stampeders. Each and every game we're gonna see more Nate and uh, I think he'll really flourish. Uh, his physicality is going to show up. He's got good hands. He's got good speed. And I, I think as he gets more comfortable in the game, we're just going to we're going to hear that name a lot more. Coach Skelton just kind of teached me to stay focused and um, stay away from kind of the, the crap that was going on in high school and just focus on uh, focus on football because he's seen I had a talent with it. So and that talent, which started right here, has many great years ahead on this field. For Shaw TV, I'm Dave Dawson.